It's me, Sheila, and welcome back to my channel. If hindi pa kayo nakapag-subscribe sa ating channel, well, you can just click subscribe and click nyo na rin, guys, yung notification bell para updated kayo sa ating weekly videos. And for those naman who are new to my channel, welcome na welcome, guys. For the day, actually, I didn't plan to shoot a video today kasi I'm not feeling well because kanina pagising kong umaga, I had a dysmenorrhea and I was trying to shoot another video. Hindi sana ganito ka-formal yung setting natin but I can't really do a walking vlog yung, yung nakahawak sa camera tapos hello, hello, kamusta kayo dyan? <laughs> yung ganun. And just walking around the house. Parang hindi ko siya kaya ngayon. So, this is just a sit-down vlog. And because of that, guys, meron ako naisip na just another idea. And ito, gagawin na natin itong first episode na to for the first time. Yun, first episode for the first time. Yeah, so, ang tawag natin sa gagawin natin ngayon is All About Life by Sheila. So, this is kind of a major serious vlog. Dahil kung mapapansin nyo yung mga previous vlogs ko, sobrang hyper funny. And I think I just thought of this, na bakit hindi ako magkaroon ng kahit isang episode lang every month na serious talks. And uh, this is what I'm really trying to do today. So, it's all about life by Sheila. Anything about life, about love, about relationships, desires, or our hobbies, skills, and everything under the sun. Everything about life. So, we're going to talk about it here. So, I've prepared some questions na alam ko minsan yun na rin natanong sa mga sarili nyo. At natanong ko na rin sa akin. And before that, guys, nga pala, gusto ko lang ipakita sa inyo to. Tara! I have prepared this very healthy drink. This is lemon water. So, ito talaga yung iniinom ko every after exercise. Pero, I always keep on failing to drink Something like this every day, kasi minsan wala kami lemon. Pero hinaluan ko siya ng a bit of uh, ginger. Habang may sinasagot tayong question, hihinom ako ng healthy drink na ito, okay? <laughs> okay so, a uh, disclaimer lang bago ako mag-start. Um, I'm not speaking in behalf of everyone. Like, uh, these questions that I'm going to answer is only based on my experiences, on what I think about it, and I'm not trying to influence your opinion, guys. And kung mapapansin nyo, I was really trying to keep a balance between English and Tagalog words. Kasi, niisip ko na, I, na um, to put a subtitle on every vlog. And naisip ko siya, but it will add up minutes if I try to edit a video with subtitles. So right now, binabalance ko lang. So kung mapapansin nyo, mayroon akong English and Tagalog words just to set a balance. And of course, I know that uh, hindi lang naman mga Pilipino yung po pwedeng manood nito, di ba? Meron ding iba. And since na this is all about life episode, I also want other people to relate as well. Hindi lang mga Pinoy, di ba? Pero kung sino man or kung ano man yung maabot ng video na to is they could, you know, pretty understand everything. So, number one, can you really be friendly with X? Or can you really be friend with X? Um, you know, some people, they were able to re-establish that friendship, friendship stage with their exes. I mean, they were able to um, to restore that friendship stage, stage and it's good, di ba? Okay yun. I mean, wala naman akong against doon sa kanila. Um, pero dahil channel ko to, <laughs> and I think I can give to you my answer for that. And hinahangaan ko yung ibang tao na kayang gawin yun. But I think for me personally, it's impossible or it's not. The reason why the two of you had broken up is dahil meron kayong hindi na-resolve pa. Meron kayong hindi na pagkasunduan na bagay. At uh, nag-end na lang kayo doon. And for me, it's so hard to pretend that it didn't happen and just start to communicate with that person like, like it's natural, like it's normal. Sa akin, it will never be normal. Siguro makakasalubong ko na lang yung tao na yun. Or, or ngingitian ko na lang siya pag nagkasalubong kami. But to, to have that conversation with that person like it's an ordinary friend, I think it's impossible. Siguro I'd like to put him um, in the past. 
I I mean it's way past behind me and we can never really go back on how things were before. Pero if doon naman sa mga may kaya, then then that's good, di ba? Okay. Pero sa akin wala. That's why yung two exes ko right now is we don't communicate anymore. We don't have conversations anymore. And siguro ganun talaga. There are some people in your life that are really meant to teach you a lesson. But they are not meant to stay in your life forever. Next question. Number two, career or love? Um, if it's possible not to choose between the two, then I don't want to choose because yung dalawang bagay na to, guys, it's important. Pero if it's something na a do or die question, like isa lang yung dapat napiliin ko, syempre it's love. Kasi lahat tayo na may profession, kung may trabaho ka, kailangan mo ng isang tao na mapaglalaanan nun, ng, ng hard work mo sa buhay. Kasi no matter how much um, successful you are in your career, if you don't have that person or family na paglalaanan mo nun, baliwala. Number three, how does a person overcome fear? Um, sa akin, then, I think it's just simple. Then, you have to do the things that makes you fearful. Like, halimbawa, if you are afraid of heights, then go on a skydiving or go on a bungee jumping or any activity that you think, you know, would deal your fear of that thing. And dun mo lang siya, guys, mo overcome you isang bagay. Kung meron kang takot sa ganun. Diba? And it's actually pushing yourself to that and not just sitting in your fear and thinking na hindi mo na ma-overcome tong bagay na to. So yeah, it's more on exploring, exploring, and exploring. Yeah. Pero pagdating naman sa sarili, like fear of um, dejection or fear of ganito, something deeper, siguro for me ha, I... I don't know if you would believe me, but I would say this, and this is the truth, that I really don't believe much in self-confidence. Siguro for most of the things that I do in a day, it's 5% self-confidence, and, and it's 95% God confidence. Yung hindi ka confident sa sarili mong kakayanan, kasi kapag nagdepende ka sa sarili mo, if you fail, then you would just end up get disappointed at yourself. Pero if God confidence ka na, kaya ko to. Kasi, yun yung sabi ni God. Kaya ko to dahil alam ko kasama ko si God. At lahat ng bagay na ginagawa ko as lang as kasama ko si God, kaya kong gawin. ba? So, yun. It's having that mindset. It's having that attitude. Wait, I think I'm telling too much. I forgot to drink. Next, difference between private relationship and secret relationship. Yeah, this has a really big difference, guys. A private relationship and a secret relationship. Siguro for, hindi siguro, but um, ultimately, lahat ng babae, we don't want to be a part of a, of a secret relationship because why would a man keep you or make a relationship with you as something secret kasi hindi dapat ano eh, hindi dapat uh, sinisikreto yung isang bagay uh, lalo na kung wala ka namang ginagawang mali in a relationship Yan. to have a private relationship doesn't mean that you're going to keep it a secret pero as a woman ikaw bilang babae diba, you, you wouldn't want to be in a secret relationship because una, if it is right in the eyes of man and in the eyes of God it's not meant to be kept hidden in the dark uh, to have a private relationship I think yun yung, ano eh, yun yung tama, yun yung dapat so secret relationship is the wrong term it's a private relationship so let's not be mistaken with the two guys magkaiba yung dalawang bagay na yun 
And for all the girls out there, again, um, alamin nyo yung worth nyo in a relationship. And you should question that guy na, why do you want it to be a secret relationship? Like, hey, what's your agenda? Like, you did hurt me, you did send me flowers and everything, you're chatting me, you're communicating with me, tapos in the end, you only want a secret relationship, then what the? What the each? <laughs> Number five, greatest lesson in life I've learned. Greatest lesson in life. Okay. Um. So far, in my 28 years, guys, um, the greatest lesson in life I've I've learned is. Um. Life itself is already difficult. Life itself is already harsh, so don't be too harsh on yourself. You have to be kinder to yourself. To allow yourself to be happy. I mean, you owe that to yourself, guys. It's not something that other people can give you. Or it's not something that you wait for other people to give you. It's something that you have to give to yourself. Like, you owe yourself a reward at the end of the day, at the end of every hard work. Like, if meron kang pinagpuyatang isang bagay, don't be too strict on yourself na you are just going to shut it out or to shut down yourself and isolate yourself or um, mas pahirapan mo pa yung buhay mo. I think there has to be some season in your life na you have to treat yourself, you have to go out and watch your movie by yourself, you have to go on shopping or um, play a game outside, go inside a mall and do whatever you want, go window shopping and everything. At the end of the day, it's it's giving yourself a reward so that you can be motivated more to work hard more to give yourself, diba? And also to give yourself enough time to adjust and also to accept na you're not perfect. And you have to give yourself enough time to adjust and that you have to forgive yourself kung nagkamali ka man or kung magkakamali ka man. So yun. Um, just, and also, choose joy over everything else. Lagi mong piliin yung maging masaya. Lagi mong iisipin na bawat minuto na nabubuhay ka, yun yung bawat minuto na binibigyan ka ng oportunidad para maging masaya, para piliin na maging masaya. I don't know if that makes a lot of sense, but I think it did. I hope so. <laughs> okay, so next, choose one. Someone you love or someone who loves you. Actually, this is just an English version of mahal mo or mahal ka. If I'm going to choose one, well, I think um I would choose mahal ako. Because I think it's easy to fall for someone who already loves you. Yeah. I mean, it's not impossible to fall for someone, to get in love with someone who already cares for you, who genuinely loves you already. Parang ano lang yun eh, parang I because maybe because I have experienced this na uh yung relationship ko right now in the present. I actually didn't start then or we didn't started me liking him hindi siya nag-start sa ganun eh it's a process and it has been a development over time na because he showed an affection he showed an intention that's why it led me to that feeling na okay po ah parang mm, I would like to give this person a chance and I would like to get to know this person so naging ganun siya and also um Siyempre, bilang babae, ganun eh, na madadevelop talaga over time. Maybe it's different. Maybe the answer, maybe the reason why I'm answering this is because I'm a woman. I mean, I'm a girl. Pero maybe if, kung lalaki yung sasagot nito, siguro ang isasagot nila, <laughs> siguro. So, nag-assume ako. No, I'm not assuming. I mean, maybe they would choose, siyempre, someone they love. Ganun. Kasi, 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 men are born a fighter. I mean, lahat ng lalaki, they, they want to fight for something if they want to 
have something for themselves. I mean, they really fight for it. Kaya nga, they court. That's why they show intention. They go to a girl's house. They he introduces himself to the family because they they are born a fighter and they they want to fight for something, di ba? And gin sila yun yung nature nila. Eh. Pero ang babae to say um. You have to initiate first, and then the woman eventually would decide whether she would respond to that invitation from the guy or not. Pero ako, yeah, my answer is, mahal ako. Yeah, but I respect your answers for that. I mean, we all have different answers, and I know mas matututo din, may matututo nandi naman ako sa inyo. But I just want to share with you my own personal um, thoughts on this question. So, next. When should a person give up on something? Oh, wait. Inom lang ako. <laughs> okay. I think the person needed to give up when he or she knew that it's not working anymore. Think it's about time to give up when after all the efforts you've made and after all the things that you did, things didn't work out for yourself and for that person. I think yun yung time na, oops, I think I have to stop. I think I have to give up. And, you know, um, for me, uh, giving up doesn't mean that you're weak but most of the times giving up means you are that strong to let go and very few people can only do that I mean mamamangha ka kasi it will, it will not be an easy decision that you're going to make but you have to make it for you to move on for you to move forward so giving up guys it's not a shameful thing to do or it's not something na dapat na kinakahiya. But I think um, that would lead you to a door of a lot, lot more opportunities to to be happy, to grow for yourself, to think more, diba? to to be free to, in that situation. And yeah, whether how bad, whether how hurtful it is, you have to do to do this eh? and I believe tayo ding lahat diba? at some point, we have experienced that choosing to give up I mean, ano yun that's inevitable guys, sooner or later darating din sa buhay mo na magigive up ka sa isang bagay, it's either sa isang bagay, sa isang tao sa isang alam yun, dream, item gadgets, hindi <laughs> ko alam kahit ano, but just the thought of giving up, pursuing that thing or that person Diba? There at some point, kailang, nakakapag-decide tayo ng ganun. No? If you haven't had that decision yet, then, antayin nyo guys, sooner or later, may experience nyo din. Yeah, but, I think, ano eh, it will allow you to grow. It will allow you to think na, maybe the reason why God needed me to let go of this because He has something better. And I cannot really see that better um, plans na meron pala sa akin kung patuloy ako nag-hold on dito sa bagay na to. So, yeah. That's all. I really hope guys na meron kayong natutunan sa sit-down vlogs na to. And again, this is a sit-down vlogs and I really apologize because I'm not really feeling well today and yeah, I hope na meron tayong lahat na natutunan and also, um, I'm pretty much excited to do this serious type of vlog. First episode of all about life with Sheila. And thank you so much guys sa pagsama sa akin. I hope na nasagot ko isa-isa yung question na yun. If you have any thoughts guys, just leave a comment below and mababasa ko yan for sure and I will be glad to answer everything. So, thank you guys. Again, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe this video. And see you again on my next vlog. Bye!